For 30 minutes, yeah. I mean, it should be like one dungeon and then we get to chill for a bit or something. Well, you don't like Dark Heart? I think Dark Heart's fun. Oh, don't switch? Okay. I will not then. Some people like really are into Overwatch, some people hate it, so just like whatever. Let's see if this tank is actually alive and well. Do you really hate Dark Art? I don't know. I don't mind it. I think it looks cool as fuck, though. Holy shit. There he is. Too much trash? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, in fact, it really does look amazing. Hey, what's up, jokes? I wonder if I still have. No? Hmm. I need to turn off, like, the, uh, attack sounds, because they're so fucking loud. What would it be under? Probably just sound. Okay, now I can't even tell. That's not good. I want to press escape and then change the sounds while this is happening, but then it's just going to cancel my hymn. Fucking sucks. Okay. Let's see if we can change it real quick. There. Perfect. Maybe. Maybe I'll bump it up just a little bit more. Tank Demon Hunter, uh, they haven't really done any balancing yet, honestly. Like, some tanks are going to be ridiculous, some tanks are going to be horrible at the moment, you know. There's no real balancing happening in, uh, Alpha. Not near enough to actually, like, make guesses about what we're going to see in Legion, at least. There we go. At least in terms of tanks, I've had like way big ups and downs with Demon Hunter. I've had Demon Hunters that just like auto fall over, and I've had some that are like ultra resilient, so I don't know. I don't have like a specific like oh this is these are the tanks you're going to be tanking in Legion and yada yada right so far away give me that hope at Holy Nova all oh, baby oh that is not the button I meant to press fuck it <laughs> Oh well. Should be fine. 
Is it just me or just Holy Nova? Uh, it costs a decent amount. I don't know. Doesn't cost that much. Doesn't cost as much as I thought it did. At least we can just drink now. If the Demon Hunter bro lets us. Oh shit, that's right, we still have the uh, Pally Blessings. I forgot about that. Holy Priest feels pretty good. It, uh, the, the problem with judging how Holy Priest is, probably the biggest problem that you're going to have with it is that raid healing, and I mean, this is the same way with Mop too, is that raid healing and tank healing are two completely different things. Or raid healing and five-man healing is like two completely different things. I'm hoping to like proc this 15 stack atonement into the next thing I hit. Hit me. Hit me. Proc my atonement. Or not my atonement, fuck my palm. For a minute. I have a 15 stack on me that I don't want to lose. How did I even get to 15 stacks? That was wild. Huh. Lack of mods? There is, really. You gotta keep up the law and order of the chat. The, the biggest problem right now with Holy, and I'm actually just starting to realize this more and more now, is that your abilities that are reducing the cooldown of things, like primarily Prayer of Healing and Flash Heal, those abilities cost a lot of mana. Like, a lot of mana, or they have big drawbacks to them in some other way, right? So, in order to actually reduce your cooldowns, it's not like it is on Live and WAD. Where you can use Renew, or you could use fucking Flash Heal, you could use either. You know, you have that flexibility to reduce the cooldown of uh, Circle Heal, you know? And you'd lean on Circle Heal heavily. But for... Let me zoom in here. But for Alpha, you're spending very expensive spells that are supposedly high throughput, and they, they are more or less high throughput spells. But those high throughput, high cost spells are also the ones that are giving you that cooldown reduction. So, because there's already a big cost attributed to it, it really hurts when you're trying to maximize the use of your Holy Words, which seems, which at first seemed to be the focus, really. So, that's one thing that's kind of disappointing, and I kind of hope they have some kind of serendipity with, um, with just Renew. Like, it'll reduce the cooldown of both Holy Words by, like, one second each or something like that. That'd be nice. Because currently, uh, Renews, they, they scaled up health pools so much that, like, Renews pretty undertuned for what the health pools are at. So, yeah. So that's more or less my, like, irk at the moment. It's not the biggest of deals, but it might become a bigger and bigger deal once, like, raid testing comes along. And we're actually able to test Holy Priests in raid. So, it's just like one of those wait and see. So, renew ticks. It depends on your haste. What is it? What? Yeah, I mean, it depends on your haste. So, like with renew, you get more haste. There's breakpoints, right? Where they'll there's still breakpoints. Um. In terms of it'll heal more for this point and this point. But the key point to note is that if you're in between breakpoints, you still gain extra value and you get like these mini ticks that are added into them. Um, that's basically what happened when Warlords came around, when they got rid of uh, haste breakpoints. Or the pre-patch, I guess I should say. So that makes sure that haste still has value when you're in between those breakpoints. Such that it's not even a big deal about worrying about those breakpoints in most situations for HOTS, you know. Hey, what's up, Brainism? What is your new tick for? Pfft. If it's ticking for, it's probably like 10k-ish, the ticks. If I'm putting it on him, like 30-something k, then 16k, then, you know, another 33k from a crit. 16, that's with um, health pools of about a million. Tank probably has a health pool of 1.8 million, yeah. So it's 
healing for very small parts of your HP. So, powered shield. We need half powered shield, man. Health pools at level 110 or at like a million. 1.2 million. Or 1.1. Yeah, 1.2 million. So, they sc scaled health pools up. Like, they doubled them basically once you hit 100 or 110. So, which of course is a good thing. You want to have, and they didn't do it enough in, um, tell him, tanks, calm down. Tanks doing fine. They didn't do it enough in Warlords, I don't think, with keeping health pools high enough with more gear, such that you're actually able to produce damage that's more constant, rather than just having burst damage because you didn't scale up the health pools enough. Which is what happened in Siege Orgrimmar, where they didn't scale up the health pools enough to compensate, so in order to keep on challenging the healers, they just made burst damage. So it's all about dealing with the burst damage. And that was one of the biggest issues with Siege Orgrimmar. Oh my goodness. This guy's a monster. He's just taking everything on. So I'd like to see something that makes Renew have some kind of uh, Holy Word synergy. That's like my hope. But we'll see. Or maybe just something to ease off the cost of Flash heal. You kind of don't really have much of a need to um, cast Prayer of Healing unless it's buffed by something, but I don't know. That's kind of give or take. Kind of depends. Like I personally don't really like that they had a uh, flash or sorry that they have prayer of healing not group based anymore because it's really gonna suck when you're AOE healing on um, like spread fights you're just gonna use it for melee really and you're gonna use sanctify also for melee which is a problem you know kind of a big problem. Or Mercy heals for 11k every second. Like I said, like tuning is not a thing yet, you know? I'm not worried about the tuning. I'm worried about like what the abilities are intended to do. Or how the systems work, you know? So, I'm not that stressed. I can start worrying about that when they have raid testing every single week. You know? Week after week after week. And we're deciding like, okay. Are we buffing this? Are we nerfing this? I also want to see um, maybe more reason to cast like Holy Fire on cooldown or something like that, or like maintaining some kind of damage effect, because with the artifact trait, the equip effect is like when you use a Holy Word spell, it doesn't have to be Sanctified, doesn't have to be Serenity, it can also be Chastise, you have a chance to summon uh, Ture, so that your side. So once they actually make that spell worth using, or once they make the uh, effect actually decent, which will come in tuning. You know, it'll be nice because you'll be able to contribute meaningful damage and chastise because you have to use it more or less on cooldown for that chance to proc it. You know? The other problem I see is that, like, you have Circle Heal, you have Sanctify, and you have Co. Sorry, you Circle Heal, Sanctify, and Prayer Healing. My bad. Co, Po, and Sanctify. They all do pretty much the same thing. It's just how the damage is distributed. If there was two of them, that would have been okay, like Circle Heal and Po, like there's always been. But having Sanctify added into the mix kind of blows, to be honest. So I feel like maybe it'll be appropriate to change what... Um, I can't even spell it. Maybe it'll be appropriate to change Prayer of Healing into Circle Heal if you glyph it, or if you're sorry, if you talent into it. So you talent into Circle Heal and it replaces Prayer of Healing. That would be okay. I mean, assuming that they change the uh, tuning properly to compensate. But something like that. Something like that. They've got to do something like that in order to actually. Uh, To make it so you don't have three spells doing the exact same thing. You should use Chastise on cooldown. Yeah. 
That's the ideal. If they're going to keep it, I don't know for sure. I don't think I've I haven't been looking very hard to see if Chastise is proccing the equip effect. But if it stays that way, that's how you should be doing it. Is you should be using it on cooldown. Um, I'm just using it on cooldown because it's a stun when you glyph censure or talent. God, I keep saying glyph when you send talent into censure. Ugh. Which is awesome that they get that. Oh, I guess it does. Yeah, it just procs. So yeah, it is procking off of uh, damage. Now, I don't know if um, Tude is actually dealing damage. Because it says he's casting similar spells, so Smite, you know, he'll have his own version of Smite. So, please. Please. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if they changed around Sanctify, though. I'm just not sure exactly what they would change it to. It's something I kind of want to sit there and brainstorm about, because it's kind of a cool idea for a spell, but you already have so many other spells that do the same thing, more or less. So, I don't know. Not quite sure what would be a fitting replacement. You have this, which is okay to keep everybody in line, but it's eh. Sanctify is instant. Yep, it's instant. Uh, as is Circle Heal. And then Prayer Healing is the one with the cast time. You know. There's very slight differences, but at the end of the day, when you're looking at what that thing does, you know. Basically the exact same thing, you know. So that's where I'm just kind of miffed a little bit. Holy Word spell, actually just everything in general costs a lot. Holy Words cost a lot. The abilities to get them off cooldown cost a lot. And I guess that's where Enlightenment comes in to kind of balance that out. I suppose. But I'm uh, interested in raids, how that's going to work out. Because it might turn out, and that, it'll be okay if it turns out that um, Holy's the one that's going to benefit most from having like Innervade and Symbol of Hope, obviously. But when you're in raids where in a, in a perfect very hardcore environment right you're gonna use spells like innervate as utility you know you're not gonna use it on yourself you're gonna use it on whoever gets the most benefit out of it so the druid in that perfect world should put it on let's say for example the holy priest you know if they're the one that benefits the most or maybe it's the misweaver monk or maybe it's the paladin you know we don't obviously we don't have a straight answer for it yet But is Holy going to be in that position where they benefit amazingly from having free spells? Uh, maybe. Possibly. At the moment with Sanctify, it's looking like it. It really, really is. Let's just start Holy Noping some stuff. Wow, never mind. He killed everything. I know this is an Overwatch. Chat voted for... Kind of sort of voted for um, Legion stuffs. Sanctify is like, uh, roll. you know my ground effect thing? That's like horrible on live? Imagine if they made it pretty decent and it's all instant healing. That's what that is. So. Shamans? Yep, probably. Probably. But the idea is like, druids shouldn't use it on themselves if they don't get the most benefit out of it, you know? Is a drunk stream? It was going to be until roommate drank all the OJ. So now we just have vodka. We have orange soda, but that's eh. I have like orange soda, we have Pepsi. We only have vodka. Hmm. I am very, very glad, speaking of uh, Him of Hope though, or Symbol of Hope, um, that it's instant. Yeah, I'm really fucking happy that it's instant. It's like amazing, amazing, amazing utility. Especially because of the fact that you're not taking one of your healers out of commission completely to use this spell, you know. Which legit would have been a concern. You can't drink it straight. Uh not that I not that I can't, I just I really don't want to. Because last time that happened was when our head was like spinning and we ended the stream and then we grabbed you know the bucket 
Yeah. Hymn of Hope, aka what's now called a symbol of hope, is no mana cost for all healers. For 12 seconds. And I believe the reason why they changed it from symbol, or from him to symbol, is because of the fact that there was no cast time. I believe. So. Like nail polish remover, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Especially because it's Svetka. I don't really like the taste of Svetka. Well, I don't hate it, but I don't like like it like it. I don't know. Um, oh my god, I love Grey Goose like way, way more. No, everyone cannot get into. Um, they did invites most recently. Wow, I'm not getting any clusters. What the fuck? They did invites most recently about um, just giving it to 1313 Mythic Raiders. Almost all of them, but even a lot of thirteen thirty mythic raiders that I know didn't even get access. So I agree, guys. I agree. It's fucking amazing. But yeah. But the interest of not wasting any kind of booze that we pay for, we're finishing that off. So, but uh, I don't know if they're actually going to do keys like they did in Worlds of Draenor. Or not, like, for now, there are no keys. But when beta, the actual beta comes out, maybe they will. I have no idea. So, it's a possibility. You could say, <laughs> it's Godka, oh my god. Yep. The dungeon actually went pretty well. Like, this tank's just burning through it. Oh, please don't die. There we go. I don't want to, like, ask him to come join us, and then he, like, dies to me not healing him. That'd be horrible. Get wrong with me? Okay. If it's tanked, it says no. Or he might just, like, ditch him after. I don't know. We'll see. Never do keys again? Yeah, you're probably right. Especially because they... Well, that's true. They probably won't do keys ever again. Especially because of, uh, like, how they handled Overwatch beta. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of funny with, um... Oh, fuck. Don't I have to stand with people? Yeah, that's right. You gotta stand with people. I forgot about that. Oh, that is dispellable. Wow, I'm fucking awful. I'm an awful healer. Man. I was just like, man, where's this tank going? Fuck, stop. Police. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be more ready for that. Rip. The first time we did this was, like, horrifying how bad we were. I'm actually pretty worried about my mana, though. Because I don't think I have anything to drink in combat. I don't. I'm just going to kind of chill. I don't really want to cast too much stuff, because uh, if I go oom, um, it's all over. Oh, what the fuck? Is that actually healing us? Oh, fuck yeah. Now's where we can actually do stuff. If we're not being feared into no man's land. Yeah, this is our nice little lust part. Is it actually healing you? 
Healing, yeah, 40k every second. Nice. Got him. Nice. We did it, baby. Tenos is a talent. <laughs> so yeah, at least you're not... Yeah, exactly. At least they finally fixed all the crashing BS. What's up, Strat? Alright, Artie and... Uh